So the latest update has some changes to do with text and bullet journaling. So if you're not familiar with bullet journaling, I suggest um, uh, it's well worth finding out about. Just the way of managing tasks and to-do lists and things like that and the way of uh, keeping them um, up to date and uh, organised. Um, but part of that is the idea of bullet, make your task into bullet points and then as you complete them or um, <clears throat> uh, decide that you can do them later, then you just mark them off as uh, with specific symbols to designate the kind of state that they're in. So what I've done is I've changed the um, uh, text to have um, a dash which denotes uh, a note in, in bullet journaling and this bottom one a dot across uh, a kind of right arrow and a kind of left arrow and uh, if you choose that then that's like a bullet journal uh, task so the dot denotes an incomplete task or something you need to do a cross denotes a task that's been done and a right arrow denotes a task that's uh, you've kind of put off for another day so you've migrated it to another day or week or month in your planner and a left arrow denotes something that's been scheduled so you've kind of dealt with it it's um, uh, set to happen at a certain time or whatever and now which of those you use, you use is up to you but um, I tend to to use um, just the task that's not completed, task that's completed and migrated, um, they, they fit my needs. And I have been doing it completely with the pen tool and just um, uh, just handwriting everything. That works perfectly fine. But then what I've done is added this one. So I'll show you there are a couple of tasks that have cropped up in Zoom notes that uh, I've needed doing recently. Um, so select a text incorrect when bullet symbols change. So uh, what bullet symbols changes mean mean is it's like the checked bullets one. If I tap on one of these lines, then it's going to go from uh, incomplete task to completed task. If I tap on it again, then it's gone to a migrated symbol, and it just cycled through those. So that makes it easy just to um, update the list when you've done something. So I have done that. Um, and uh, so I've marked it as complete. Double width PDF page as well. I've done that as well. So I can just do that. If I hadn't done it, then typically it'd be migrated. And what that means is, I guess in this new text way of doing things, I'd have um, selected it um, and then probably, I don't know, let's go to the next day. Um, do the same thing. I'd say it's still a task to be done. I've got the the double width pages, so it's gone. Didn't do it yesterday, so I've migrated it to today. Simple as that. But the beauty of it is this page now. You can quickly see. That's everything done off that task list. It's either done or migrated. So it's um, nothing, you know, you don't even need to read the, the what, what they are. You know you've done them. Um, <clears throat> but obviously, if you think, uh, if you do have to reflect on, on these things, they're, they're there to see what you have actually done on Thursday the 8th of December. Um,